Thank you, Chair. Colleagues, the report we are discussing today is a valuable paper as it tackles a wide range of horizontal topics of utmost importance for the EU and its policy instruments for advancing human rights and democracy worldwide. I thank the rapporteur for her openness during the negotiations and I'm happy to see that issues which were proposed by my group were extensively supported by the other groups and are now in the final report. However, I consider that in general the reports we are adopting should go beyond theoretical statements. We should not censor ourselves when speaking about violations of human rights and democracy in the world without referring to particular cases, countries and regimes. We should not be shy in naming and shaming abusive state and non-state actors. Such an approach would give more value to our work and to the work of civil society whose representatives expose themselves to danger and abuse yet continue to act as watchdogs and brought to our attention these events. The aim of the report is to also be a supportive instrument for the work of the European External Action Service as well as to the EU delegations in the third countries. I believe that speaking openly and stating the facts about undemocratic regimes which strengthen the significance of our work and its impact on the design of EU external policies. I hope that in the future we will surpass this limitation and will address without restraint events that damage human rights and democracy in the world. Thank you.